Hello everyone, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. So in this session, I will be discussing uh, the scheme and solution of the regular paper of the fourth semester for especially for CSC stream that is uh, with the subject title called Mathematical Foundation for Computing, Probability and Statistics. So here just I am giving the solution part that's all. I am not going with a deep discussion of all the problems. So just I am showing uh, the solution. Uh, so what to get, what you have done in your exam, have you get the same thing you can verify once that's all which was held on June July 2023. So this is the question paper. This was the question papers. This is the question paper. Now moving on to the solution part. Going with the uh, first question. They were given uh, the problem to solve. Uh, uh, prove that uh, the given compound proposition is tautology. That is what uh, I have shown here. So this is what uh, tautology. So the given compound proposition is tautology here. So you can say that uh, by observing uh, the column. This column. And uh, the column. The last column. By observing these two. By we have same truth values, so we can say that finally the conclusion of these two are tautology. Moving on to the next question, they have given uh, this is the statement they have given. They have given uh, the argument. We need to verify this argument here. So for that reason, I am going with uh, the p of x. I will defining p of x, q of x, r of x. Here p of x is defined as x is a student of first semester, x is a student of second semester. That is q of x. R of X is X, X studies logic. So and A specifically Anil studies logic. So I am going to define in terms of quantifiers. I define for all X P of X disjunction Q of X that implies negation R of X then R of A. Therefore the conclusion is negation of Q of A. If you have defined this uh, quantifiers you may get minimum of three marks so after defining these things then we are going to verify the given argument is uh, valid or not um, by using modest tolerance we can prove the given result as follows so uh, we have proved that part here so moving on to next problem uh, this is what i have discussed in my previous video so considering n as an odd integer uh, and n plus 9 is an uh, even integer i need to show that uh, n plus 9 by 1 is uh, need to prove by direct uh, proof and uh, proof by contradiction so by direct proof uh, we are going to prove that uh, n plus uh, 9 is even so the that is what i have done by contradiction part i have considered uh, p and uh, q here uh, therefore n will be 2m plus 1 so considering that uh, the requirement i am going to show that uh, uh, n is even so which is contradict to our uh, the definition whatever the given statement so therefore uh, uh, by proof of contradiction the proof can be end here similarly going with the next problem uh, p implies q implies r this is what uh, they have given the argument i need to verify the given argument is uh, valid or not by using glass of uh, logic so using uh, uh, connectives called a conjunction we can write the conjunction here then by associative law i will change the bracket here so uh, after the changing the bracket just uh, after changing the bracket i am going to get this uh, then by using modus ponens uh, i am going to get this one then by using contrapositive finally uh, by using uh, rule of syllogism all those things i am applying by finally rule of disjunctive uh, we are going to get uh, the required answer as r Therefore, uh, we can say that uh, conclusion, therefore, the given argument is valid. The another choice part from module 1. So, using loss of logic, I need to prove this to our logically equivalence. So, this thing I have done in my previous video. You can refer my previous video. So, I have proved this already. You can uh, go through. Have you done this part or not? Clearly, you can go through this, refer this. This is also where I have done uh, in uh, exam, they have instead of M and N, they have been asked k l plus of m they have asked k in place of n they have asked l so i need to prove that uh, k plus l is even and k l is odd here i have proved that k uh, m and n so this is also i have proved in my previous video you can refer that so another one uh, uh, given the function f of x and g of x so i need to prove that uh, g of uh, f and g are invertible so i will consider g composition f of x then as I have defined f of uh, it is defined f of x. I will uh, write down what is f of x. Then 
we know what is g of x in place of x i am going to write uh, 2x plus 5 from uh, writing that i am going to get uh, g composition of x uh, f of x as x similarly i am going to find, find out uh, f composition of g of x so from that i am also getting x so finally i am going to get uh, these two are equal so therefore i can say that f and g are invertible so moving to next question when a set a and r be a relation and uh, define a relation called a related to b as what a is a multiple of b a is a multiple of b so from that i am going to define find out the relation r this is what the relation r you need to write down by using this relation r i am going to write down the matrix this is what the matrix we are going to get by using this matrix or by using this relation we are going to write a digraph this is what we needed to get a digraph if you have got this much you are going to get score full marks in this question so moving on to the definition part uh, this is what i have done in my previous video you can refer the definitions clearly i have defined what is a, a simple graph com a complete graph subgraph spanning subgraph so i have defined this part you can go through this then uh, show that the following uh, graph is isomorphic so they have given this uh, type of graphs so find out what is the number of vertices what is the number of edges they have provided number of vertices is 7 and uh, number of uh, edges is uh, uh, 13 and uh, the degree of each vertex is 4 so i am shown that uh, consider the uh, one to one correspondence i have shown the one to one correspondence here and i have shown the one to one uh, correspondence between uh, edges and vertices so as it is both are verified i can say that uh, uh, both g1 and uh, g2 are isomorphic to each other so next uh, going with uh, the problem uh, in the given uh, question paper they have been provided uh, instead of ax square plus bx plus c they have provided for the same problem a plus bx plus c so whatever the answer i have got here in place of uh, a will be same thing you are going to get but the equation you need to write is 0.55 minus uh, 1.07x uh, plus 1.42x square. This is what you are going to write. So in this manner you are going to get the solution. So moving with the next problem. Uh, uh, compute the coefficient of correlation and uh, equation of the lines of regression for the given data. So fetching the data I am going to find R. So to find R, I am going to find out uh, sigma square X, sigma square Y. For that reason, I will find uh, tabulate X, Y, Z. I have explained this uh, type of problem in my previous video. You can just refer. So here, just I am giving the solution part. That's all. So X bar, you are going to get mean of X, mean of uh, Y and mean of Z. And uh, so, uh, sigma X, sigma Y, sigma Z. So from using all these, a r will be equal to 0.9286 so if they asked uh, the regression line you need to get uh, the regression line of uh, y on x like this and uh, x on y like this so fit at least uh, and also if they ask the problems on uh, rank you uh, have solved the problems on rank so you, you can verify my previous video you'll get to know the how to verify how to get the solution of rank of the problem so here the least square by least square method i need to fit a uh, power curve that is ax power b for the given data so here you need to be careful while using your calculator i have used ln of x and ln of y in this case and finally you are going to get uh, the solution of capital a as minus 0 0.6931 and b value is uh, 2 uh, and substituting uh, here in uh, small a i am going to get uh, the value of uh, small a as 0.5 therefore substituting uh, in the given required uh, problem y equal to a x uh, power b yeah, this is what the given problem so just substitute the value so a value is 0.5 and uh, b value is uh, 2 so this is the final answer so if you have got this uh, you, you can get out of out in this mark in this problem similarly going with uh, uh, given a correlation uh, regression lines so using this regression lines i need to find uh, mean of x and y and also correlation coefficient so i have explained thoroughly two problems in my previous video within uh, in one shot i have solved the all the problems so you by solving these two simultaneous equation you are going to get uh, x bar and y bar 
so after getting x bar and y bar we can uh, find out r directly by using uh, square root of co coefficient of cor uh, coefficient of x and coefficient of y by using these two equation so we are going to get plus or minus uh, 0.66 so as we are having uh, both the uh, values of uh, x and uh, coefficients of x and y as negative we are going to consider the regression uh, coefficient will be uh, negative value uh, we need to find a rank problem on uh, a b c they have provided uh, three value called a b c i need to uh, verify the rank which is uh, which rank will be satisfied uh, between uh, a b c so i will be tabulating and i will be finding the difference of uh, a and b and uh, squaring that value Similarly, difference of uh, B and C squaring that value, difference of uh, uh, C and D squaring and that value. So I got the summation of those values. After getting the summation, I will be finding uh, the rank. We know the standard formula to find the rank along the rank of A, B, along rank of A, B, C, along rank C, A. As I observed, uh, rank A, B and uh, B, C are negative. I will be rejecting uh, these two part. So I will be considering rank uh, C, A will be the conclusion moving part moving to next question uh, the uh, i need to solve uh, the random variable uh, here problem uh, i have discussed this uh, problem in uh, previous video uh, but just i am giving the solution you need to get the value of k as uh, 1 by 10 substituting that value in the tabulation you are going to get a table so by using this table we are going to find out probability of x this uh, less than uh, 6 is how much so that is 0.81 Similarly, x lies between uh, 3 and uh, 6 is 0.33. Going to next problem, this is also have been discussed in the previous uh, video. So you need to get uh, the value of uh, probability of x greater than uh, 2500 is uh, uh, 0 you are going to get. Similarly, x uh, less than 1950 is uh, 0.2033. Uh, As you multiply it by 2500, it will be nearest to approximately 508. Similarly, uh, range between 1900 and uh, 2100, you are going to get uh, the value as uh, 0.905 and multiplying this value with uh, 2500, I am going to get uh, 2263. So moving on to next problem, uh, the quiz problem. So here we are going to identify what is P and Q. So P and Q are both uh, same. We are going to have 0.5 and N value equal to 10. Then I am going to use the binomial distribution here. P of x is uh, ncx, p power x, q power uh, n minus x. I will be finding out p uh, probability of x greater than or equal to 6. That can be find out by using uh, probability as n equal to 10. As the value 6 is nearest to 10, just add the probabilities of uh, 6 to 10. So I have solved that part. I am going to get the solution as 0.377. So then further I will go with uh, p as 1 by 4 and uh, q equal to 1 minus uh, 1 by 4 so using that i am going to get uh, the further solution uh, probability of x greater than or equal to 6 as uh, 0 0.0197 so in the number of accident problems so in that uh, poisons distribution is applicable so no accident in a year more than accident uh, more than three accidents in a year we need to find so for that i need to identify what is mean i need to know what is uh, capital n here the given problem is capital n so first uh, uh, p of x is uh, e power minus mu into mu power x divided by x factorial so substitute the value of mu i got uh, the p of x so from this i will find out pro no accident that is uh, probability of x equal to 0 so then multiply that value by 1000 capital n so i got the value as uh, 50 similarly uh, probability of x greater than 3 multiply by the value uh, capital n 1000 so finally, I'm going to get the answer as 352.6. Going with the next problem, uh, in a normal distribution table, uh, normal distribution using normal distribution problem, we need to find, uh, solve this problem. So they have been provided, uh, instead of 5, they have been provided A, A of 0.5. So uh, 5 of uh, 0.5 is uh, 0 0.19 and 5 of uh, 1.4 is 0 0.42. Using this, and you know what is how to find out uh, z1 and z2 simplify that part so here i got a z uh, probability of z less than z1 is uh, nothing but minus 0.5 so uh, similarly i am going to find out probability of z greater than z2 so i got z2 as 1.4 so using these two i will uh, i will be finding a mean and 
standard deviation that is what i needed to uh, solve so by um, uh, by using a normal uh, distribution i have find out uh, mean and uh, standard deviation of the given data so i got mean as 50 and uh, standard deviation as 10 so moving with the next problem a die was thrown 9000 times and uh, a throw of uh, five, uh, 5 or 6 was obtained uh, 3240 times so using uh, whether I need to go with the hypothesis problem, whether uh, it is biased or unbiased, I need to identify. So I'm going to get uh, the value as 5.4 here. So the, as it is greater than 2.58, so I can uh, say that uh, the given uh, hypothesis is rejected at 1% level of significance. So therefore, we conclude that uh, the die is biased. So a fair coin is tasked uh, thrice the random variable x and uh, y are defined as follows. So I need to identify uh, the uh, these two problems. I need to solve determine the distribution of x and y. Determine the joint distribution of x and y. For that, uh, first I will find out uh, the sample space. Sample space is given as like this. This is what the sample space. Using the sample space and x defines as zero, uh, zero and one. So the value of y will be number of uh, turning heads. So that is what the given uh, problem. So I have taken that uh, tabulation. From using that table, I will be finding joint uh, distribution table. So this is what I am going to get uh, the joint distribution table. So from that uh, part, I am going to find out probability of x equal to 0, probability of y equal to 0, probability of all the values up to 3. Then the joint distribution uh, table by looking at the joint distribution table, we can analyze uh, P11, P12, P13 up to whatever the values we have. So I've just given one uh, value called P11. So you need to uh, compute uh, P11 up to P24, I think. Up to P24, you need to find out. So this is what uh, some uh, problems I have quit here. So as I have solved in previous videos, you can refer my previous video uh, for your verification. And now you can calculate how much marks you can score in the uh, examination, whatever you have written today. I wish you all the very best for your upcoming results. Thank you all for watching this video. And those who like this video, kindly do subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you all for watching this video.